what you mean by the time you were here. If you've been here before, I want to say welcome back. If you've never been here before, Welcome, welcome to Send the Moon Goddess channel. All right, Scorpios, we are going to do a reading for you for the week of October. Can y'all believe it? It's October, October the 4th through October the 10th. All right, Scorpios, let's see what they have for you. You know, we do a Celtic cross here. And um, we just go by whatever spirit has for us. So we clarify the cards also. So if you've never been here, that's what you will see. And that's what we will have. Okay. All right, we need three more spirit. Three more, please. Two more, please. Mm, look at that something. Two more, please. One more, please, spirit. Hey, what's going on out there? Scorpios. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Mm, before I let you. Before we start, I should say. Um, I'm just going to ask you to subscribe to Send the Moon Goddess channel by clicking that button right there. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. All right, let's go. Let's get it. At the bottom of the deck, we have the death card. And guess what? That's you. So you are represented here at this reading. So let's go. Okay, where well, we are right now. Ah, the three of swords. Either we over, we're thinking really hard on something and don't think we can do it, or are we grieving with a broken heart? We're going to clarify. And then the challenge. The challenge is the king of pentacles. Either we're going to have a king coming in or we are the king. We're going to see. With this challenge is and our focus is ah the tower card so either we're gonna have a breakup or we need to open up our third eye we must see all right in our recent past we have these cards do not have a reverse so the nine of swords in the nine of swords we are overthinking Okay, and that was in the recent past, so it seemed like we might be doing that now, but we will find out, Scorpio. All right, our strength is the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, wow, we're getting rewards. We're nurturing. We're working on our money. Hmm. Our future. Love, baby. And the Ten of Cups. Love, baby. Family love. Love of another person. It could be even the love of a job or a career. All right. And our approach of the week should be with a lot of passion and a lot of force. You know, this is Leo the Lion, so you know you want to woof. Whatever it is, that's your, your approach of the week. And then our um, advice. Oh, wow. Marriage. Oh, wow. Got love here. Now we got, got passion over here too. So, hey, I don't know. Hopes and fears. The six of pentacles. Success. Oh, wow. And then the outcome of the week is... Maybe we're celebrating love, baby. So maybe you are getting engaged or uh, you're married and or getting married. <laughs> let's see what this is saying. Now let's go back and take a little step back. Like I said, you, you, you I'm sorry, you are represented. Um, you, you have Taurus here. Taurus is here twice, actually. Three times, actually. And um, you got a little... 
you got some earth here, you know, a little money here. You have water here, which I think is you. And um, you have fire. So we going to, especially with the tower, we're going to say fire. So Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Okay? That's what I'm saying. All right, Scorpio, let's get it. Let's see what this Three of Swords is about. Spirit. What is this Three of Swords about? Wow, a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Number one, I see it's double seven. So you're going to have some good luck coming up, Scorpio. Um, you are broken hearted over your love. Um, you was working at a, a, a relationship and it, and it just didn't work. Yeah, but love is coming your way. But the spirit wants you to think logic. They want you to communicate with this person. All right. They want you to communicate with this person. It seems like you guys, what, what I'm hearing is you guys broke up. And um, you've been broken hearted. They said to communicate with them. Okay. All right. So you, you in love with this person, whoever it is, but you guys, like I said, have broken up and spirit is saying they want you to communicate with this person. And, and this is pentacles in earth, Virgo, Taurus, and um, Capricorn. Then you, here you got, you need to work on your budget too. I'm hearing. So here you got the king, the queen of pentacles. Then you have the prince of pentacles. So your money is going to be okay, but they saying to watch it. Don't overspend, okay? Your money is going to be okay, and so is your love life because you're in love with somebody. And uh, again, your money is going to be all right. So that, that was Virgo energy right there with that love card. Yeah. Because you know, Virgo, we all about that love. And they said they have the courage to step it up, um, to speak to them. It's a nine of swords. You're all in your head. You're overthinking. But they want you to speak speak with them. Yeah. I'm hearing you even got questions to ask them. And they said they had the strength to go and call them. Okay. And you're passionate about this person. Aries, Aries, um, energy. Yeah. They said you just call them and talk to them. Take the leap faith. You know you, you love them so much, okay? You really want to marry them. That's, that's really what it is. Okay. Ten of cups, please. Okay. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to make the choice, they saying. You're gonna have to make the choice. Take off the blindfolds and make the choice. Stop worrying. Stop worrying about it. It's, it, it's, it's like you don't wanna you wanna communicate with them, but you don't want to communicate with them because you're afraid to communicate with them. Fear. This is, we're talking about fear here. Okay? So you're gonna have to get over if you wanna be with the person and and the person doesn't live very close to you. Now we're going to talk about your money again. Jeez, but I think your money going to be just fine because we got the king, the queen, we got the ace, okay? And they saying you're going to have success. The, eight, the six of pentacles, please. Yeah, working on goals. You're going to have success working your goals, so that means you're going to get the awards and you're going to be celebrating, because you're going to get the awards that you deserve because you're working those goals the way they're supposed to. Yep, you're having a rebirth because because of all of this. You've been working it. And it's your passion, something that you passion, you, you're really passionate about. And they said, if you don't make that um, call to that person and communicate with that person in any way you, you can, you're going to be stuck in a three-way situation. That's what I got. Now, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign, again, fire is Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. And I'm seeing to it here, Scorpio, that you are going to be traveling somewhere. You're going somewhere. Either you're traveling or you're moving. Yeah. Okay. You're going to have victory here. 
And whatever idea you have or uh, you starting a business or you brand new business, you're going to have, you're going to have, um, you're going to have very good luck and, and make some money doing it. And it's something that you love, love to do. And they saying they want you to step in your power. They want you to be bold. They want you to open your mouth because you can't own a business and not speak up. And in and in your love life, this is a person that the spirit is sending you. The queen. Okay. This is what you have for the queen of cups. This is your queen. And you have so much passion. The fire is just roiling out. And I'm hearing it's a new love, okay? And it's going to be a good start. You guys are learning to balance each other. And it's your soulmate. Oh! You're going to have a stable home. Yeah. It could be a Virgo. You want this person to have your babies. You're going to meet them soon. You're going to meet them soon. And again, I'm telling you guys, your money, you're going to be in, in the money. <laughs> yeah. Some of you guys are really going to be making some good money. Man. And some of you guys don't want to be in a love relationship I'm here. That's why they're giving me this double nine of pentacles. Um, you just want to make your money and be single and do your thing. But some of you want to communicate with this queen of pentacles dealing with someone. Earth sign. Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Yeah, some of y'all want to offer some love. You want a team again. You don't want just I. You want team. And again, they saying they need you to speak up. Also to manifest. I'm hearing you need to manifest. You need to go within. Somebody really wants to make it work with a Virgo. And saying, um... <laughs> You need to go within. You know what to do. You know what to do. And um, you, you're trying hard, but you know what to do. And there will be a victory. They said, tap into your higher self. Woo! They said, tap in... Scorpio, they saying, if you're dealing with a Virgo, you need to tap into your higher self. All right. Some was turned down. Some was turned up. All right. If you're dealing with that Virgo, it might end up being a lifetime situation. Sorry, y'all. Had to get those cars out the floor. I messed up everything. <laughs> okay. You're going to have to work at it, they saying. They saying you're going to have to work at it. You guys having a good sex life. The love is, you're just going to have to work at it. The love is just pouring out. And, and you're going to, your, your communication. <laughs> I was just getting ready to say, I'm feeling like your communications have to be together. And they gave me the communication card. All right. So that's Scorpio with a, with a Virgo. Or anything else. Anything else, spirit? When it comes to your goals, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't 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 cry over spilled milk. Just because you didn't make that goal that you that you had, keep it. Keep it, cause you will. Okay, let go of things that did not work out. It's, it's saying let go of things that don't it didn't work out and also be aware of some um, Scorpio 
Because someone that you don't trust, don't trust them. Go on your intuition. Yeah, they after, somebody is after some money. Look like you're going to travel with your loved one. And you guys are going to be closer after that. Yeah, you're going to get closer. Yeah, and some of you guys are grieving. Some are grieving. And Spirit is saying to manifest your happiness. Manifest it. Manifest. Manifest that king. Oh. Oh. They want you to come out of that. Because once you do... You're gonna you're gonna get love, and the lover is not gonna be close to you. Yeah, look at this star. You're gonna get stuff is is gonna change, but you have to choose happiness. You have to choose happiness. You have to choose happiness, and you gotta do what, Scorpio. You got to pray and meditate. Do what? Pray and meditate. <laughs> all right, Scorpio. That's all I have for you tonight. So, you know, I can't let you go without asking you to uh, like and share this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe by pushing that button right there on the right. And I truly appreciate it. And I appreciate you coming and visiting me and seeing me and let me read you. I thank you, Scorpio. My name is Sin, the Moon Goddess. And I'm out.